Many people have a romantic image of a cowboy. The originals worked long hours under harsh conditions. Most times they ended up with very little, but they were still their own man. His voice is like a rusty hinge that swings a gate in rain. He walks a cowboy strut on legs that protest and complain. One finger has gone AWOL since a dally cut it clean. Deep creases near his eyes are maps to all the things he's seen. There's more hair on his hands than what still sprouts upon his head. His sweat-stained battered hat sits square as rain and snow are shed. Work starts before the sky sloughs off the stars like dried-up skin and doesn't end until another night is stumbled in. He eats two meals a day out of an ancient cast-iron pot that Cookie serves as culinary torture, though it's hot. The ground has been his mattress, cheap, available, and near. It served him in the heat and cold throughout his long career. The work is hard and dangerous, pays a dollar every day. Sometimes the boss will let him take a calf in lieu of pay. Allowed to gather mavericks, he's built up his own small herd, and some day he may have his own spread. Hopes and dreams are spurred. A cowboy's life's romantic between the covers of a book, but he needs grit and gristle if you take a closer look. He proves his worth on horseback, lives his life in dirt and grime. Although he works for others, they own nothing but his time. Pushing the horns ain't easy Like the movie said it was don't recall no dance hall girl or hotel room with rugs. You worked hot and tired and nasty, rode your ponies heads too low. For all the night you couldn't sleep, cause it was too damn cold. And you'd sing strawberry. 